Good evening. Thank you for joining me on The Sinking City. My name is Theo. Don't call me Ted. I have been wanting to play through this game since it came out. In fact, I bought it on my Xbox with like the week one 10% off discount. Like I wanted this game. And then when I started playing it, I realized there was combat and I, I mean, why wouldn't there be combat? But like, I just didn't feel like dealing with it. So I, I just quit after like the first hour. But then, um, Steam sales are Steam sales, and this game is dirt cheap. And apparently there's a sequel coming out, which, uh, cool. But with all those in consideration, I'm starting The Sinking City. Uh, I've always wanted to play, uh, HP Lovecraft and, like, Cthulhu games and stuff, but... They've just always been tough to get into. Plus, I grew up as a PS2 kid. I didn't get a PS3, and even then, I don't think there's any Cthulhu games on PS3. <laughs> Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont. Oakmont Mass. It turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases were indeed more frequent here. Men and women across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours. A city drowning. The presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment and the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, that's how you pronounce that, Johannes Vanderberg. Wild that Vanderberg is three separate words. Uh, real quick before I press any button to continue, um, the warning that pops up at the beginning of the game, and you should probably know this by H.P. Lovecraft's existence in general, um, this world is intended to be accurately depicting H.P. Lovecraft's works, and H.P. Lovecraft is a known uh, fucking racist. So, uh, there's gonna be very obvious depictions of racism, even if it's towards an alien race. It's just something to keep in mind, because I'm not marking these videos as 18+. This is a grimy looking cutscene. Like, it doesn't look bad, but like... It's running at like 28 frames per second with motion blur and... There's like a filter over it. I already got anxiety. I hate that it's just showing press space to skip. Such a douchey thing to do. Oh my god. Potential thumbnails, you know how it is. Dude, what are you doing? Are you dreaming? Yeah, you're underwater right now. Underwater? No. Uh. 
Alright, so... Super weird ass fucking start. Fantastic. How's this game gonna run? Is it gonna keep dropping frames every few seconds? Should I... Whoa, 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 I gotta watch out. E is not interact. Hope I never have to use it. But something tells me I will. You have a little bit of a nasally voice there, buddy. Uh, sure. Right, yeah, that's... That's literally the letter I read. Grab my camera. C to activate the camera. Oh, C for case files. Okay, where do- how do I get my camera out? Camera, camera, camera. Okay. That's interesting. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Monolith National Park is waiting for you. Oh, I have this set to it's like moderately easy difficulty because uh, I'm not very intuitive at times. Now get out. Nice sweater. Now get out. Okay. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. Yes, sir. What a pleasure That's to finally me. meet you in the flesh. Can I get under that little awning? Dude. Vanderberg. At your service. You look like absolute garbage. Ah, look at him. Oblige, Mr. His eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> so Please call me your hand. He looks like me at 5 a.m. after I stay up recording past 11. Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. The fuck does that mean? What's the deal with the city? Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is Why no is that? Place. Oh, it's unique. Oh, whose voice is that? Position, and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mister. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Yeah, about my problem. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. My, what, what the fuck is going on with him? How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. I think I know what you're saying there, dude. I was going to comment on your suit, but... I'm just gonna get right to business. Here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Devil's Reef Hotel. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. Dude, you just fucking called out a dude for saying he sticks out in a crowd. Fuck you. Oh man, am I gonna make it through this game? Or am I just gonna fucking go off on everybody? I'm not gonna solve anything. Right. Yeah, what do you do? How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. 
gathering seeds of thought, like moths drawn to it flame. The Zerg won't really have much of a market for philosophy these days. There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times are much. There is no consciousness without pain. I don't know if I like that, but I feel like I need to write that down. I don't have paper near me. There is no consciousness without pain. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Uh, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. I'm gonna have to check on my frames. Maybe I can unlock something or... There's something going on. Maybe there's just some lack of optimization. Maybe I could drop the graphics on something. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. Its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Alright, dude. I'm done with no. you. I've been sitting in the rain. Now, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Alright. Let me, let me just do a quick little... Gamma boost, yeah. Ooh. And then post process down to epic, I guess. Yeah, that's a little bit more appropriately lit. All right. Johannes Vanderberg marks some shit on my map. Oh, uh, that's looking like the boat, I guess. I'm Throckmorton and hit the hotel. Strange fish. Yeah, that's what was in my dream, wasn't it? It's weird that I had a thing on my wall. I guess that adds up, right? Oh, God. There's so much shit in here I'm gonna have to learn. Alright. Oh, this map is massive. Holy shit. They're giving me the entire city to just run around? Do I get like a car or something? Devil's Reef Hotel. The Chronicle, it's a newspaper. The police department, the hospital. Library? And a school. City Hall. Okay. And what's this? A sign? Alright, well... How do I get into town? Do I just walk forward? The town on the rise as it sinks constantly. I need to fucking drop some more settings. Something was... Pissing me off. Anti-aliasing. I don't know. Fucking textures. Foliage. Effects. How often are we seeing effects here? You know? I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is final. Are you missing his son? <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. 
private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Perhaps. What happened to your I son? I ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Innsmouthers. You're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this mm. city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now. Those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells. They are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community. Not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply There's so much to take in right now. Holy shit. Pile of trouble. He's here just giving me like the rundown on all the fucking beef in town. Hold on. Dude, do not make me say that shit. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth or ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. Rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find out. What makes you think you can do it? Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what does that mean? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, Are you gonna be like have a point weirdly you? like Batman? Like where you have actual like just short of powers? I can't believe they give you that fucking option. I can't believe that. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What is that? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. Vera. See. Thank you. Now let me comment on your features. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? This okay. Else, no, no, I get it, I get it. Something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Okay, okay. Okay, where's the house? Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. Why would I know that, you fuck? Alright, alright, what about the lifeboat? A lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. As much as I'm enjoying That was a very helpful description. Thank you. It's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Dude, I'm gonna find your son so good. Alright, he said face the house. I'm gonna guess this is the house. And then there's a beach on the left. Did I just sink into the ground?
It's just the lifeboat? Probably not. It's probably that. Whatever that is. It's not. It's where I pulled up. Yeah. Yeah, here's the lifeboat. Dude, you got I the letter E. What is normally your interact uh, interact. Where's your Oberon, huh? Titania. Alright, cool, cool reference, I guess. I hope someone finds this. My name is Albert Throg Morton, and this is my will. I want to warn you. Don't go to the depths below Oakmont. There's unreadable. We should have never done that. Everything should have remained in that cave. Professor Blank, I fear what I will become. What will become of me? It's singing in my brain, dancing in my eyelids every time I close my eyes. The cycle goes on and on and on. And on and on. In the end, it comes. I must warn everyone. I must tell my father. He's here. That's horrifying. Yeah, this thing's got been marked. Something with this helmet gives me chills. Ooh, yeah. What's wrong with it? Cool. Something with this helmet gives me chills. Oh, I see my insanity bar go What's down. Wrong with it? Let me pull away. Shit. Excuse me. I can't catch a mackerel since it was in his mouth. We like it here, newcomer. Well, get used to it. All right. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. No one leaves Oakmont, huh? I believe you, honestly. Head into the house. Not tell him what I found yet, because who knows? Who are you? Everything I know. And what do you know? Who Don't do anything stupid, newcomer, and keep your hands where I can see them. Copy that. Can I break this? Can I climb it? <gasps> Good to know. Good to know. You can climb things in this game. Might have made this game a tick too bright. There's literally nothing. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. I'll get to you in a second, sir. Let me check the area. Someone's bedroom. Choo choo. <clears throat> okay. That was fun. Did I just rob a dude? Okay. I'm okay with it. We'll get to that. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. We're playing Five a game. Cards short of a full house. Five cards short of a full house. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, oh, 
Okay, no, that's one of those fish people. I can't remember what, what they called them. Right? So that's what an in's mouth is. mouth like. Yeah. I, I thought that was like some cursed, like, human image, but no. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Interesting. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. All right. Press Q to activate mind's eye. Oh, what's that? What the fuck? That's over the bed. This bed. Um... Can't open this though. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty good information. Someone that wasn't in the, that's currently not in this room was levitating in that bed. Oh, and then what do we got with the dead body? Recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Whoa. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. That was weird. I need to recover my sanity bar before I do anything. Is there quick saving in this game? I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Yeah, guess I'm not getting much out of it besides that. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried okay. to flee. Oh my god, thank god this isn't like a... Hey, can you hear me? I can barely hear you. Kind of. I've already told them everything. That's okay. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was out of starve. All right. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thog Morton's son. What? He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and okay. Oh, that dude burst. Floating in the bed was Mr. Throckmorton's son. After that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me. Ugh. 
That sounds familiar. Yeah, where'd the others go? There's serious, there's one on the ground. There's you. Where are all the other guys? And then the inn's mouth there, right? That's Paul there on the floor. Barry. With him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throg. I don't need to ask who Kay is. We already know that no Kay is God, right? Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I don't say who's K. I gotta blend in as much as possible, and I'm pretty sure the way he just used K in that context is the way that we would use God or Gosh or Golly. Dang. Yeah, what happened to Paul? You know how Paul died. I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. It's rough. He had mercy on his soul. That's real rough. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or okay. did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. I get that, dude. I saw some weird shit. Oh, I'm seeing some weird shit right now. The hell is this? Take this, ape face. <laughs> Four people mugged him. Oh, Throgmorton's guys, probably. Dog Morton's floating. The gang is here. Barry is not. I don't think. <sighs> There's a couple things I'm missing here. Like. Is that all I can get in this room? Oh. Looks like there's something over here too. Yeah, run! Okay, let's see what we have here. Yeah, run! Wait, hold on. I have to like put it in the order that it happened in? Is that what you're telling me? So... I'm assuming the dude was floating, right? They freaked out. What's happening? It either made one of the boys go mad or him go mad and... I want to say he escaped, and then that's when the guys came in, and Throgmorton's guys are like, "Where's the guy? Where's the kid?" And they're like, "He ran. He jumped out the window. He freaked the fuck out." And then they beat him to death because they thought he was lying. That's 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 how yeah, I'm gonna do it. Run! That's how I'm gonna put it. Take this, ape face. No. Alright. I guess let's do the order I found him in then. Or I guess not the order I found him. Take this, ape face. Yeah, run! When Albert Throg woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Investigation of the main case reveals clues in your mind palace. Press C to open the case book and then switch to mind palace. Very cool. Oh, 
Wait, where do you see mine counts? <clears throat> so What am I doing here? Oh, mine palace is right here. I see it. All right, so what? I need to put things in a certain order, right? Or I don't know. I just connect things. Okay, there's stuff at the bottom. Okay. So Albert attacked the fisherman. Albert Throgmorton attacked the fisherman at their house as soon as he regained consciousness. The fisherman suffered a sudden psychotic outbreak. Throgmorton regained consciousness. Behaved strangely after returning from the sea. It was mad, violent, and spoke gibberish. Our thought Martin was dangerous and posed a threat to Lewis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. That tracks. Okay, so I take I take my clues, my information, I connect two of them. It creates a deduction, then I take those deductions, put them together and Okay, yeah. Solving crime. Um Dogmortons and Innsmouthers are in an ongoing feud. When Albert Throgmorton became aggressive, Lewis and Innsmouther fishermen immediately started shooting at him. If those two are accurate information, they they laugh, they they track. As an Innsmouther, Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmortons. That could be a reason to hate them. Uh, one fisherman is missing. Albert Floyd when wounded. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my sense. The fisherman suffered a sudden psychotic outbreak. After Albert Throgmorton regained consciousness. Um, let's see. No. Okay. I get it. Albert Throgmorton spread some sort of psych psychic influence. Which made everyone nearby suffer hysteria. Yeah. Okay. I can track down. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Damn it, I gotta stop pressing E. Okay, well, I guess this area is done so then, right? The fact that you can just jump out the window is crazy. Um...
Okay. Found your son's will. I found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me. Oh my boy, what did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. All right, see ya. <laughs> he just goes by. What a dickhead! Oh my god. Wait, am I? Did I not find everything in there? Oh, there's a whole ass other room. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. is damp and damaged but clearly well cared for i don't think those things can go hand in hand thank you okay now let me go ahead and find But the scene after the fight in the house, I can track them using my sense. Right, 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 right. Um. So the fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. That's fucked up. New mind palace clue. Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a Throgmorton. Dude, you're really not helping your case. I'm trying to protect. I, I, I just don't want. <sighs> you're making the Throgmortons have a reason. Like, you know. No, that's a bad thing to say. Anyway. What is this? Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Good for him. It wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Yeah, looks about right. Just check around the area. Christ, this place is just loaded with. All right, alcohol. Right. Uh, there's something in the pocket. pocket. What stay note, Lewis? Please, just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I've struck a nice deal with the proper people. Everything interests Peter. Peter owed Lewis money. Bar owner is indebted to Lewis. Yep. 
Damn it. And the blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. They're clearly somewhere in the basement, but I need to check out the rest of this place. It'd be irresponsible of me not to check out the rest of this place. Alright. Is that a fake wall? Or no, no, that door. Okay. Adox and weak planks can be broken with a shot or a melee attack. Door won't budge. Uh, that's uh that's Mr. Throgmorns. Oh shit. Oh shit, what the fuck is that thing? The fuck are you? I mean, there's more than just the one fatal round to the forehead, but yeah. All evidence collected? Yo, let me just deduce right in front of the dead fucking body. Albert was... Lewis, the Innsmouther that killed Albert Throgmorton, may be hiding at the bar in Oakmont Port. Lewis may be at the bar. Shit. Wow, even just being near it lowers my sanity. That's crazy. But somehow being near this thing doesn't. Yeah, let's just not, not touch the dead body. Dude, that dude dragged this motherfucker who knows how far. This is also a really weird warehouse. Um... I need the bar. Let's say note. Torn piece of jacket with the note inside. The conclusion that Albert was murdered, which means I can go. I lose the insmouth as I killed Albert by bar. Maybe hiding at the bar in Oakmont Port. So that's this. Let me hit it with a save real quick, too. Is there a bar over here?
Here it is. Got a spare bullet. I ain't eaten in days. I actually don't believe it or not. Bartender it is. Don't do that again. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? I need to find Lewis I'm Flynn. For a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. I get it. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have it. So... He's upstairs. I know it's the tutorial case, but you gotta promise to deal with them once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Bye. Bye. Alright, so the question now. The question I really need to know is should I go tell Mr. Throgmorton and be like, here's the key? Or do I go up and be like, dude, you're fucked, and then pull a gun on him with no bullets in it? You know, like that doesn't that doesn't seem right. I think I need to go tell Mr. Throgmorton. How far away am I? It's right outside. I'll be right back. Good evening, sir. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. My condolences, Mr. Thor. Hope for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of a tell me you know who did it. Oh, I want to look him in the eyes, make him beg for mercy. I thought you might have wanted to. It's a fisherman named Lewis. By the name of Lewis. He had a gun and pursued Albert after he fled the house. Lewis, it is then. What do you know of him? Turns out you were right. He's an insmouther. Yeah. Those filthy shouldn't have said that, now. dude. When I'm through with them, they will rule the day. They like, can't lay a finger on a throgmorton. Bring me that dirt bag, Lewis. He and I are do a reckoning. Do this for me, and I'll help you with anything you need. Yeah, I have a couple dudes with guns because my gun is empty. All right, whatever. Charles Reed, private investigator. 
Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Why do you look like that? Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mm -hmm. Mary gone to the sea. So I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listen to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. Mm. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. All right. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspect it had something to do with that ape. Uh, Checks out. I was right. Checks out. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those it's weird. An entire us. race of people and a family? Our home was destroyed. Or if Throgmorton a race a stay, also. Like it sounds like a family thing. Us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, when and medicine. The Innsmouther are kind Save of like these average so humanoids. For every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder, always conspiring behind our backs, always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? These are some pretty linear conversations. You might as well just not give me the option for some of this. A newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition, reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont called the grand families. There's the carpenters who control most of the city's underworld. Mm -hmm. The Blackwoods who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And naturally, yes, the Throgmortons. Right. Those <sighs> filthy. The big apes. three. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. Yeah. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reed, don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. I get it. I get it, man. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please. I'm gonna stay a straight edge for as long as possible. Try my but patience further, Mr. Flynn. Mr. Throgmorton's a little too powerful to take a fucking couple of bullets. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh. 
my f my mind palace. Lewis was affected by the hysteria and in result the murder. But we have two outcomes we can choose. No, you know what? I have... It doesn't matter if the, the bullet hole to the head is deliberate. No, because he says he, he claims that he came to in the basement covered in blood. Which means that hiding the body was also supposedly part of his... Um... I can't think of the right word. Mm. Hold on. Should I do that? I feel like that might be better. Oops. I accidentally selected deliberately murdered when I went. That's what I get for looking over and seeing that the text was all right whatever you know i i think i that's what i was leaning towards anyway i was i was gonna say before i realized that he claimed he came to in the basement is that you can kill someone in a blind rage and it could look extremely deliberate but he went through the trouble of hiding the body no, 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 because then he woke up covered in blood and then ran to the bartender said, you owe me. And then hit, yeah, I'm sticking with, yeah. No, I'm, I'm morally okay with doing that. Lewis deliberately murdered Albert. Albert may have been dangerous, but that doesn't mean you should have fucking chased him down and fucking executed him hid the body on meat hooks and then fled the scene yeah i told i told fucking the insmouther dude that it wasn't cut and dry but that shit is cut and dry he's a fucking he, he's getting the, the the boot god damn it As I suspected, the Innsmouther Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. It wasn't Just my favorite thing to do, but... I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes. You've earned it. Kate, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't. <laughs> I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? You? Should I tell him I have visions? It seems like it's one of those things I shouldn't tell someone so powerful. The Harry Potter dilemma, you know, like, do I tell the truth and progress the plot correctly? Or do I play the righteous character that doesn't want to impede on anyone? I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. I feel weird being in the corner. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an I feel like being in the corner is such a dated... ...geological activity that may be responsible. Just such a dated, uh... 
method placement webcam thing. Oh, I didn't hear what he was saying. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oconters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins. Professor Doe. Architecture. A sleeping giant. Drowned streets. And a voice calling from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed Whoa. the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. A geological expedition. I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and I hope this branches of off be more complex after this. So below. So I sent men to find out. You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied scientific explanation. This town's existence does, but... Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. I just genuinely hope it's not a, uh, it goes all the way to the top, and then it turns out to be him the entire time. Oh, right. That's the other thing I forgot to do. There's always something. Always something. Boom. I like to make it so, like, when I point at my screen, it points to the center. Just a little, uh, you know, behind the scenes action. Uh, I, I like the idea. Uh, sure. I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear. Do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert. Albert. When you finished, come see me at the Throckmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Let's talk payment. About my expenses. They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course... You've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Ah, uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Solved my first case in Oakmont. <sighs> now I got a couple of bullets. All right, so let's head over to the bar. Yeah, let me get to the Devil's Reef Hotel. Let 
Man. All right, fine. Let me just head north, I guess. Pretty sure I remember an underpass up here. You know, I have to say it. This game... I mean, I have to pay a lot more attention than other games. Like, I'm a lot more quiet. I'm listening a lot more. I'm reading and thinking, but... I'm already further than I was my first attempt. Thing I didn't have to walk all the way to the bar or to the th yeah to the the hotel. Robert Thogmorton funded an expedition to discover the origin of the mass hysteria gripping Oakmont. The expedition was to explore the seabed near Oakmont. Contact with the expedition was soon lost. Albert was the only known survivor. He was subsequently murdered. I was hired to find any other expedition member. Dead or alive. Rog Morton will be waiting for my report in his manor. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis, brothers. Uh, or whatever. I don't know exactly what sank the USS Cyclops. Only remember the screams and the metal creaking, water filling the deck, and my headache. The worst I've ever had. I found myself among the floating seaweed, drowning. A nearby piece of a boat helped me survive and reach the shore of a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half mad, and babbling about the ancient ruins and their denizens. The official said none of what I thought I'd seen was real, but my memories are true. My strange powers gained after that ordeal prove it. I found something horrible on that island, something old and dark and slithering, and it still haunts me. Is that me? Because that tracks. But like, whoa, you know? Can I look myself in the mirror? No. Never again, they say. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, it's way too wet to be not in a coat right now, dude. Let's go with the... Yeah, the wind coat. I think you need to be a little warmer. I'm not sure I love the collar on that, but I respect it. Okay. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. Raids on Innsmouthers. The number of attacks on the Innsmouth immigrants has increased. Raids are intensifying with more and more Innsmouthers exposed to abuse. Police are on the case with several illegal Innsmouth and business captured. Businesses capture out. I mean, I care. That's just a very vague world detail. There's a water pitcher in the bathroom. It seems that you have overexerted yourself while conducting the investigation for Mr. Thorborn. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you to the Devil's Reef. Join hands. Please, be, please take more care of yourself in the future. I won't be there for you every time. I have a feeling you are. For some reason.
I could just walk into... No. Okay. Oh, they gave me a sign and everything. That's interesting. I boarded up the windows and locked the door. They're just men, the Yellow King's gang. They can't get in here now. Now there's only me. Me and these nightmares. A little longer and I'll figure them out. There's a hole. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good off this room. The door won't be open. See any drag things that you room mind the floors. I'll make you pay for your scratch. But. It's wild that they let me go into so many different rooms. The fact that this whole game is like no loading screens every door just opens well every door i'm meant to or able to open just opens Damn, I should have taken a picture of the dead body. Not that I wanted to, I just feel like it'd be probably smart to do as a cop, a private Finally, investigator. You're awake. Jesus Christ. I'll tell you though, mister. You want to stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Uh, what noise? Noise? What, what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, well, next time it happens you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers you're not exactly uh. friendly with your guests aren't we the ones keeping you in business all these newcomers after the flood let's talk raven mad what do you mean you can't imagine the crazy notes and books i find after they move out only thing they're good for is lighting a kitchen stove can i have a look i knew it I tell you, no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. I don't want to take it, but... Oh, shit. Letters from Okma. The weird hotel owner allowed me to look through the weird notes he found in the rooms of disappeared no... Newcomers. Several pages from the diary of a man describing his life in Oakland. He suffered from visions and marked the places where they happened. Was he trying to avoid them? Today I fell asleep on the street. I'm sure it's connected to my vision somehow because I felt the same nausea and headache as before they strike. Okay, so these are going to be little, like, happenings, if I could, like, pinpoint the spots. I honestly don't want to go through. That's a lot of reading. That's a lot of notes. Alright, um... Sure, cheap, affordable living again. I could live with renting out beast ridden Flop houses, but you're cutting into my profit. Don't make that mistake. I know you're on the fish market. And I have dangerous people living here that I can send after. Fish market. Does that mean he rents out, rents out to Innsmouthers? Devil's Reef. Suits and top coats. Men's clothing. Phone. Alright. 
Alright, so what do I do? Lost at sea. Robert Dog Martin gave you a key to the expedition's headquarters in the northern cover side of the, at the crossroad of Asher Road and Huber Ave. Northern cover side. Asher Road. Asher Road and what? Huber Ave. There's Huber F. So by the police station. This is weird. Well, what? I'm gonna have to get around on a boat? That's interesting. So many of these signs just say suits and top coats. And it's a shame because I'd love to pop in and see if I can buy a suit and top coat. Why not? Who are you? Are you alive? This place is wild. Right, I think this is it. Now why am I here? Um, Expedition's headquarters. Northern cover side. Big ass boot though, look at my shoe compared to that. Look at anything on my body compared to that, jeez. Right, it doesn't look like this place is very... Divers with the bends can suffer from numerous symptoms. Numbness, blindness, deafness, dizziness, seizures, confusion, and words coming out weird. Yeah. A few damp papers, all that's left of the expedition.
Initially burned cargo manifest. Oh fuck! Why? 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 What the fuck was that? What, what do I do with that low of health now? What the fuck? Where did he come from? Come bursting out of this? That's so annoying. He waited for me to loot and then he... This has to have been what happened, right? Uh, guess this helmet's beyond repair. Dude, I really don't understand what just happened. Did I just solve a murder or something? Yeah, that whispering was from up here. Grab the papers, smash the rest. Grab the papers, smash the rest. I Dagon. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. And where does dead guy come in here? Well, what do we got here? We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Time to figure this out. It's pretty obvious. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Grab the papers. Smash the rest. I That one seems pretty obvious. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. I don't understand. Maybe the key to the expedit. Oh, okay. So, gotcha. So this is the Innsmouthers breaking into the headquarters of the Throgmorton's expedition on trying to solve the psychosis problem in the city. Uh, proof that there's burnt manifests and information. Oh, Innsmouth is a disease? Several men with Innsmouth syndrome. I thought they were a race. No, they have a fucking disease. Or maybe that's just what they say. Maybe that's just them being racist. <laughs> it's hard to tell with this fucking HP Lovecraft shit. I don't, I don't know. A lot of time to go through all the books, I'll tell you that. Okay. 
Um, I'm just... really don't feel like dealing with that. Okay. Oh yeah, let me go into the mine palace. Cargo manifest and the burnt documents. The expedition archive is lost, but I still have clues to follow up on. They left the city on a freighter from Grimhaven Bay. There might be recent postings or ads about the freighter in the Oak Knot Chronicle. A few damp papers, all that's left of the expedition. Right, let's check upstairs. I haven't even gone upstairs yet. That one was intentional. Just to see if I could. Can't say I ever saw another shell like it. It's a shell? Okay. Places of paranormal activity have strong people we have prepared a list of solutions, including meditative practices and supply of sedatives to prevent cases of madness among the expedition members. I highly recommend this for discarding all those charms, amulets, and religious symbols, which are of no use, and applying these scientifically valid methods to, of protection instead. Say I ever saw another shell like it. Oh, I do have health pack. Good. That would have been horrifying if I was able to do that. Fisherman reports, water sample of a weird substance floating in the ocean. Several vocals mention a rock that rose from the seabed, making the fog shine. LP Stern got severe burns after chiseling off a part of the rock in his basement. Interesting. I gotta stop doing that. These samples glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. Oh. Map of Cape Cod. It looks like there was something here, but it's been erased. Map of Cape Cod. It looks like there was something here. Oh, this is just introducing it's been erased. Dr. Doe. Okay. Well, like it said, all evidence collected here. Expedition archive is lost, but I still have clues to follow up on. They left the city on the freighter in Grimhaven Bay. Yeah, let's head to Grimhaven Bay.
Does it matter where I left my boat, or is there always a boat? Probably need to get to that boat and go all the way around. So annoying. Oh, boy. Damn newcomers. I feel like this is the incorrect way to do this, but I'm going off what I know about the game. Okay, I can go this way. Alright, I don't want to take this right. I don't want to take the next right. I want to take the next next right. And then it's just a straight shot from there. Jesus Christ. Oops. City Hall. That's Throgmorton Manor. He'd be pissed if I just rolled up to his house right now. New okay, new location, infested area. Just what I want to hear. So I guess this is the, uh, the inn's mouth. at the next intersection. Okay. 
I think I went a little further than I expected, but that's fine. I need to get to Grimhaven Bay. These roads are fucking long. Like, this is a full sized city, it feels like. Damn it, it's 11 o'clock. We're gonna have to call it right here. As I made it to the fast travel point, which I didn't even realize this is a fast travel point. So that means I can go from. I can go to these spots, right? Yeah. Cool. Well, oh, excuse you. Well, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Um, I got lost in the sauce, and this video is at least 20 minutes longer than it should be, because I should be laying down in bed right now. I I didn't expect to like this game as much as I do. And I'm really, really liking it. So um it was a good choice for me to start and um Tomorrow I'm gonna play something else. You know, we got two new games getting added to the rotation, so we gotta, you know, get those going. We got a good start here, but we got another one we got to play tomorrow, so um, thank you.